Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Did you know that you can use a tablet and write rather than type on the keyboard? Recently, a lot of bloggers have been talking about the possibility that Apple is going to come out with some sort of tablet computer. And they've also mentioned that if they do, they'll have to have some way for you to be able to write and it recognize the letters that you write. Well, a lot of people don't know this, but Mac OS X already does that. You can use a cheap little tablet like this. I bought this for $25 on sale. You can get similar ones for between $40 and $60 bucks online. And you can write and have your Mac recognize the letters that you write. It's already built in to Mac OS X. Let's go and take a look. So here's the system preferences. Now right away you're going to notice one thing. There's this ink preference right here. Now if you go and look for that in your Mac you won't find it. Well it's there but it only appears when you plug a tablet into your Mac. So which tablets work? Well, it has to be a Mac compatible tablet. Now, as far as I know, they all are, but it's possible there's some out there that don't work with Mac at all. But most you just plug and play and they work. Others you have to install drivers to get them to work or to get additional functions. But with this cheap little tablet I've got, I simply went ahead and plugged it in and instantly I was able to use it using this ink preference panel. Let's go and take a closer look at that. So when you click on ink, you have a whole set of preferences here. The first one is be able to turn on handwriting recognition. Then most of this other stuff will work. You can set things about your handwriting, uh, how you want to use it. For instance, if your pen has a button on it uh, that will only recognize uh, your writing when you have one of the buttons pressed, um, you can go ahead and have uh, the ink window shown, which is this thing here and it usually appears in the bottom right part of your screen but you can move it to wherever you want. You can also show the ink in the menu bar. Then you've got different things here. You can set the language for recognizing characters. There's also some gestures like for instance you can undo using this gesture here. Cut, copy, paste, clear, tab, etc. Uh, you also have a word list. You can add some common words like say your name, name your company, things like that for it to better recognize those words when you write them. Let's go and take a look how it works now. So one of the things you can do with this window is click on the little notepad here and then you have this area that you can start writing in. So I'm going to start writing and I'm going to make sure I keep the cursor here over the notepad and start writing text. When I'm done it will translate it and put the word up there. Now you can also toggle down here to picture mode and then you can draw on this space as well. So you'll notice something here inside preferences. I've checked off allow me to ink in any application. So I could switch to something like text edit that I'm using and I could just start writing on my tablet and it will go ahead and put it into text edit. So I'm going to write in very large letters and you'll see this little temporary pad open up. And there you go. Now in this mode I've definitely noticed exactly what we see here. It doesn't do a very good job. In this case, I put a space between every letter and I thought my two L's were I's. Let's give it another try. There, it did a much better job that time. Now you can also use ink to go ahead and put drawings into documents that accept drawings. So let me convert this uh, text edit document to rich text here so I can insert images in it. Then in ink, I've got my picture here that I've been drawing and I'm going to go ahead and hit send. You can see it inserts it there in text edit and it will work for lots of different types of applications as long as they accept the sent image. You can do the same thing with text here. You can go ahead and basically send this text to the current document you have open. So if I click here, hit send it'll send the text that's in here. So I find it's a lot easier to write and have your text recognized in this ink uh, notepad here than it is in a regular document. So you could write here and hit send to transfer the text over. So if you want to know more about ink, there's a help button here that only appears in this ink panel. Uh, you may have to expand the window a little bit to get to it. Click on it and the ink help will open up and you can find out all sorts of information and different things you can do with it. So ink's fun to use, but I'm not sure how practical it is. I found it really rarely recognized my handwriting well enough to allow me to have it as a substitute to the keyboard. 
but it does show this technology already exists Mac OS 10 so it probably will be used in any kind of tablet that Apple comes out with but hopefully it'll be a little bit improved to then. So then it's really a toy you can play with. Go ahead and try it out if you have a tablet and see if you find it useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Most Now.